I'm Tony, and this is something to consider. You know, a lot of these videos and, and podcasts and things and all the, the topics that we cover, they tend to come from places in the media, things that are in the news, stuff like that. Um, global stories, local stories, things that make me and the other people who write things for this channel think about stuff uh, out in the world, either problems that need to be solved, things that are amazing that more people should know about, stuff like that. Now, unfortunately, those videos take a lot of time to put together, animate, like little elements of them, um, to write them, fact check them. Not that many people have seen them yet, so I don't know how we're doing in that regard. If any of y'all ever notice anything that is wrong, please do let us know. We will issue corrections. Um, but yeah, they take a lot of time, they take a lot of work, and we're going to continue to do them. But as those of you know who've been around um, for our podcast and various channel updates, things have been super, super busy on my end, on the ends of Julius and Ross, the other two folks who help us out with these videos right now. So, in addition to the podcasts now and the base long story short videos where we tell a story with visuals that are animated and stuff like that i just wanted to start something on like a weekly basis where i just sit down and kind of tell you what i've been considering the past week it's something for you to consider maybe if this kind of stuff interests you and at the very least You'll hopefully know where we, the folks here at this channel, are coming from when we dump a video, which I swear to you, our next video is coming fairly soon. Now that the um, absolute hellish whirlwind of work that has been junior year is finally winding down over the course of the next week, I'm going to finish closing the building that I work at, and then once that's done, well, then it's the summer, and this summer... We've got plans to uh, to put out at least one solid, well-done video a month. Um, hopefully more than that, though, because without classes and everything else competing for our time, that should be a much more... should be a much more reasonable goal. But anyway, here's what I've been considering the past couple of days. I saw Infinity War on Sunday, Monday, Monday. I saw Infinity War on Monday, and today is Friday. So that was a couple of days ago. It's been, the busy is going away, but like it's been, it's, it's, a, it's a process of getting rid of the busy. Um, but I saw that movie and it, it really impressed me and it had this weird feeling of relevance. I'm not going to spoil um, anything, anything major, and I'll mention before I even spoil how the, how the ending goes. Don't worry. But, um, man, I just feel the themes in the movie were good ones for the 20th, well, the 21st century, I should say. Because think about what that movie was about. It was a group of superpowers, a group of people with well above um, human capabilities in the world. People who have been the center of some political, social controversy in the context of the Marvel world. I mean, God, there was literally, like, there have been other near-world-ending events that these folks have dealt with, and then the issues of that setting brought about a literal civil war between these superpowers. I mean, we're coming from a, a world of conflict here. And right after all of that conflict centering around them and their differences, differences in uh, ideological standpoints with why they do what they do and how they do what they do, suddenly they are presented with this existential threat. There's all the, the, the stuff that they've got going on underneath, and then all of a sudden they're presented with a situation in which it does not matter. Your, their conflicts do not matter. There's this force, Thanos in the movie, coming to kill a lot of people. And nothing they say, nothing they do 
I shouldn't say nothing they do, but nothing they nothing they say. It's not a threat that they can just beat to death in a in any uh, conventional sense, like we see with some of the other villains. It's not going to be something that someone can just kind of clutch right at the end. And most importantly, this is where I'm going to. I'm not going to spoil anything specific, but. We are going to talk about how the movie concludes. So skip to this time in the video to avoid these sorts of spoilers. You've got like five more seconds. All right, cool. We're, we're getting into it. So the, the best part about the movie, in my opinion, was that when they were faced with such a serious threat, such an existential threat, um, wipe out half the, half, half the population of Earth, um, that was what Thanos wanted to do. They were put in a spot where they all had to work together. They all had to stop whatever it was they were doing. Whatever their concerns were at the time, they stopped and they were put in a position where they had to cooperate. And that cooperation had to be executed near flawlessly. And if it wasn't executed fast enough or flawlessly enough, lots and lots of people were going to die. And in the movie, without getting into the specifics... We were shown what it looks like when people, either some people couldn't swallow their pride, some people couldn't stop to be logical, some people couldn't decide to ask for help from other people until it was a bit too late. Whatever the reason, it wasn't executed flawlessly, and the movie ends with the defeat of our heroes. Again, I'm not going to list the specific heroes who get defeated, but Infinity War does not end happily. Um, Thanos wins. Now, why do I feel that is a good movie for the 21st century? Well, as someone who studies political science, whatever that is, um, media stuff, media technology, and just kind of keeps an eye on a lot of the, the conflicts going on around the world from my cushy position here in the United States, we're up against a similar... A similar situation right now where we've got all these conflicts they're born of conflicts older than than most of us who are around today uh world war one world war two happened the two largest armed conflicts in human history we develop nuclear weapons weapons capable of ending the world as we know it um we fought a lot fractured a lot of nations fractured a lot of a lot of stuff um and we've been dealing with the aftershocks of that ever since in a lot of really important capacities. And as those conflicts continue to bubble over and we continue to, to bomb people and kill people and, you know, all this awfulness, there are these other things developing in the background because our populations continue to grow. Societies continue to get bigger and more complex. We've continued to pollute. We've continued to do things in our environments. We've continued to dump both visible things like plastic and invisible things like CO2 into our environment. And we're starting to identify threats that aren't human. Um, not just environmental threats, but things like technology that we're tampering with that we don't fully understand. Things like artificial intelligence, which again, not trying to be alarmist here. We can do some really cool things with that and I'm excited for it. But we also got to be careful with how we proceed with that technology. When we talk about things like climate change, things that can throw a wrench into really complex natural systems that we rely on to live, um, systems whose failings have brought about near, well, I shouldn't say near, like true mass extinction events in the past, events that have almost extinguished life as we know it folks the next hundred years thanos isn't a person you know don't, don't get me wrong there is no purple person coming for us but there are processes processes i don't know how do you pronounce the plural for that word properly i don't know there probably isn't a right answer maybe there is let me know in the comments um as we move forward in the, into the next hundred years with our level of technology, with our, with the heights of our current populations, 
the complexity of our systems and the sheer volume of stuff that we can do good by or that we can harm. Yeah, there are threats to our lives, to our livelihoods that care as little as Thanos, that care less than Thanos. Because Thanos was a, a conscious being in a fictional story. Things like climate change and the systems that they might change as a, as a result. Um, things like the acidification of the ocean, the oxygen content of the ocean. The, the droughts that occur as a result of climate change and drive societal and political unrest. Those are real. And those, like Thanos in the movie, those issues are not going to negotiate. And like Thanos in the movie, solving those problems will require cooperation among the global superpowers, and it will require near-perfect execution. And every moment wasted is another moment less time you have when Thanos shows up, or when the really bad drought finally starts or when the runaway, you know, rise in the sea level really starts to kick off or when the refugee crisis from the droughts and the other ecological issues reaches a tipping point or when any one of these things set off a war that causes people to bust out the nukes or when any of these things happen these are problems tied into systems that, uh, that, are, that are natural and that are unflinching. And that we as a species haven't been messing with before in the past. And like, yeah, our, our wars continue to rage. We've got, you know, all these conflicts all around the globe. But just remember, over the next hundred years, there are things coming for us that do not care, that are not human. Either our own technologies, things like AI that we need to wield intelligently, things that already exist and are a danger to us, nuclear weapons, or complex natural systems that we are just becoming big enough to topple if we're not careful. Um, things like the complex systems that play into the climate on this planet, um, things like the oxygen content in our oceans and in our air, stuff that we cannot live without if it gets changed too much. Changes to those systems are coming because we are changing them. And surviving those changes, well, it's going to take cooperation among our superpowers, executed nearly perfectly. Avengers Infinity War isn't a perfect movie, but I think it's a good movie for the 21st century. Because, well, in the movie, Thanos is coming. And Thanos is scary, and Thanos does not care about the petty conflicts that existed before he showed up. And if you're not ready for him, he's going to do what he does in that movie. We have equivalents to Thanos in our society right now, and they're coming. It's weird to talk about those issues because people only live a, a certain amount of time in their, in their lifetimes, but the next hundred years, our lifetimes, Thanos is coming, or at least his equivalent. Are our superpowers going to put aside their differences, learn to cooperate, to execute solutions perfectly, ones that hopefully don't hurt people, to address these problems? I hope so. But that's something to consider. Stick around. We'll be producing more uh, like proper, proper content with, you know, scripted stories, teleprompters, ooh, you know, animation, stuff like that. That will be coming soon this summer. We do have some partnerships that we're working on finalizing. So please do stick around. I know there aren't that many of you right now, but those of you who are here, I hope you all enjoy having your curiosity stoked, and I hope you enjoy considering these important things. I'm Tony from Long Story Short, and again, this has been something to consider.